What is going on guys? Welcome Tom here. Super excited today and I have one question for you guys. Do you want to know how to set up your seller center on Amazon FBA so you can get started on selling on Amazon and reaping the benefits of finding best profitable products and selling them around the world? If the answer is yes, just stay tuned because that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, I know that we talk about the strategy a lot, we talk about the business side of things a lot, but it is as equally important to figure out how to really properly set up your account when you're selling on Amazon FBA. So, Seller Central account coming up. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is gonna go to Google and we're gonna type out Seller Central Amazon, okay? Depending on what region you're in, you can type in the name of your country and then it'll load up that Seller Central. As you guys can see, I'm in Canada, so Amazon Seller Central.ca loads up. There's not much difference, it's the same thing. Once you get to this page, there is some information actually if you're wondering uh, about selling on Amazon, the advertising, the fulfillment and all that. All that information is right here for you guys. So you can always take a look at that information. Now, you're going to go to register now. That's the first thing you're going to do. And then once you get to the actual Amazon page, the information is actually broken down. So if you want to know about anything specific, you can actually uh, take a look and learn more if you're not sure yet. So there's a ton of information. As I tell everyone all the time, guys, you don't have to go to different places for Amazon information. Everything is on Amazon, but then again, uh, if you want to know the secrets behind things and if you want to know uh, what Amazon is telling you is not actually like a little bit of, uh, you know, sugar coated, if you will, then that's where you watch channels like mine or anybody else that actually has experience with this and knows exactly what's going on. So you're going to click on start selling. It is $29.99 a month. So that's for your account. That's your monthly subscription fee if you are in Canada. Okay, and it's not too much different for US or overseas and you're going to click on create your Amazon account here. You're going to type in your name. Okay, I'm just going to uh, my accounts under my full name. So I'm going to go by my shorter name and I am going to choose an email address uh, password. Let's do. Okay, let's type in password again. All right, let's go next. All right, to verify, we've sent you a one-time password. So I'm just going to save this and then it goes into my Gmail. So I'm going to check on my phone, guys, just to get that code quickly. There it is. So verify your account now. It's still downloading. Okay, so I got the code. 281846 okay there we go verify okay we should be good all right so it's working it's thing and we're gonna get prompt to a different page now there is more information you gotta enter okay set up your sellers Amazon account have the following information available so you need your business name and address if you have a business name mobile or landline telephone number and chargeable credit card and valid bank account information now i'm not going to enter the bank account information but i'll take you guys through most of the process but i'm not going to click yes so legal name what is the legal name of your account or, or your business so if you guys have a business number in Canada you know that sometimes the legal name is not as the same as the DBA name which is doing business as so for example like we have a big company here called lululemon right lululemon the actual name is slightly different it's lululemon incorporated da 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 yeah but the uh, basically doing business as name is just Lululemon. You need the full name and there is a reason for it, guys. When your shipment touches Canada and it needs to be get customs cleared, it needs to be under the name that the government has as the legal name. If the paperwork is different than the name that you have on their database, your shipment is going to get stuck, guys. Believe me, guys, I know this. I've run into this issue. So I'm just going to type in now. I don't have any uh, specific businesses under this name, but I'm just going to type in. OK, we're going to call this Trampolini Trampolini. So we're going to sell, let's say, trampoline products. So maybe I should do capital. All right. I've read and agreed. So you guys, you can read the 
terms and conditions. So basically, like it's always good to read that. It's just like all lawyer stuff that you need to go through. So we're going to call it Trampolini. That's our business name. Now, if you want it, if you have any ink or anything in there, you have to enter that information. Okay, we're going to enter, I'm going to enter an address here. Okay, so we're going to go city, state, Ontario. We're going to say it's in Canada. All right, so where are we? Where are we? There we go. Okay. 06A, okay. We've entered the postal code. Now, you guys in US have a number. We have like a combination of letters and number. Choose your unique business display name. So we're gonna call this Trampolini. We don't have to um, change it, but if you have a specific name, so this is where you can do, you're doing business as, so you're doing business under a more fancy name. Your company could be a numbered company, which is a nine digit, so it could be like 16496269. Canada Inc. DBA Trampolini. So you guys get the point. Now it's always good to make sure the information is absolutely correct. As you guys know, you can be rejected by Amazon if your information doesn't match because they do their background check. So make sure absolutely everything is correct and to the point so that you don't get any roadblocks from Amazon. And they're very strict about these things, guys. Okay. So if you sell your products uh, online, enter your website URL. So if you're currently selling your products online, you can enter your website. If you don't have, it's okay. Select an option to receive a pen to verify your number. I would say SMS. So that's your text message. And I'm gonna put my number. Okay. SMS verification, English, text me now. So they, at each step, they're, they're trying to verify to make sure that every information is correct. So I'm waiting for their text. There it is. Let me just pull it up, guys. All right. So it is 126565. 126565. Double check. Verify. All right. So verification successful. Next, so let's do. I'm just going to use a London address that I know. I just don't want to use my own address because it's going to match against my current business and that's just going to create conflict. So I will use, um, let's do this. All right. So we're going to go. This is my other location, my uh, other property in London. So let's do that. So that's my condo in London, Ontario, Trampolini. So let's go next. It is going to verify the postal code. Once it's good, it's going to accept it. Okay, looks like now we're into the billing slash deposit. So the next stage is basically you enter your card information. You can actually view plan details. So let's take a look. The monthly subscription fee is $29.99 plus additional fees. You will only be charged once you have finished setting up your account. So once I set up, it is going to charge me. That's why I'm not going to do it. It is going to give you access to Amazon's world-class fulfillment resources and expertise, acclaimed customer service and prime and free shipping options, pay per use. So your credit card information, you got to make sure it matches everything. Set up your deposit method, enter your bank account information. So when you actually are selling your items, how do you want your money to be deposited into your account? So you got to enter that information. So you got the actual name that you have with the bank, the institution number, four digits. So this is for Canada. For US, it might be a little bit different. Your transit number, which is the location and account type, if it's checking, savings, where do you want your money deposited? So from this point forward, I'm not gonna enter that information. All you gotta do is enter your product information or listing or what kind of stuff you're selling and this is it guys. You will be ready to go, it's that easy. Now, I hope I've explained this and if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I will see you guys next time, but before that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one. Bye.